guys, what's up here? Back to another Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, guys, we have something really cool that I really like. So, guys, this is a sand farm or basically any gravity block farm. So, this works with sand, red sand, gravel, and anvils. Yes, you can farm anvils on this farm. So, guys, this farm is really easy to build. As you can see, it isn't really hard, not a lot of resources. And basically, it gives you a lot of uh, a gravity block. So let me just show you. So this is how it works. It keeps bumping up. You can just turn it off like this. And when we go in, our all the sands will get teleported. So you guys, as you can see, I have nothing on my inventory. When I go in, boom, look at all the sands. We got, already got a stack and 29 sand for like one minute uh, doing the, out, the intro. So guys, uh, we, we're not going to talk more. We're going to show you how to build this. First step, beat Minecraft. So guys, after doing that, you'll find one of these portals, so go to it, this is where we're gonna be basically building the farm. And guys, uh, uh, we're gonna need all the blocks, as you can see in my, um, in my hotbar, these are the only things needed, but the numbers will change, of course. So guys, the first thing that we're gonna do is pick up a cobblestone walls and basically put them on each of these bedrock blocks, uh, basically surrounding this um, end uh, block, basically, or whatever you call it, guys. Then we're gonna need, guys, four pistons and place them like this. One here, one here, one here, and one here. And then we're gonna need building block, guys. Anyone. I'm gonna use quartz and do a, a shape like this with three blocks surrounding every each piston. After doing that, you go on this whole place block and place another block on top. This is just temporary, so you can remove it. Let's do it for all the sides. And then we're gonna make a wall out of these blocks. So you pick any one and you add a block like that and basically surround all of this using this method. Guys, so we should have something like this. And what we're gonna do, go on each corner like this and place a water bucket so it should all flow into this um, weird block basically. So let me just add here and here and as you can see, it looks like this. Then guys, go um, beneath the bedrock thingy and you see on this bottom bedrock, I'm gonna place another block like that. And go two blocks on each side like this and then we're gonna be using our repeaters so in total we're gonna need eight repeaters for this farm to work so what are you gonna do go on the block close to the bedrock like this place a repeater going that way okay let me just do it like that and make it two ticks and then basically go on the other one like this and go that way so it should be like a circle of repeaters so let me just do it here one tick guys I forgot to tick it out here and one here so guys you should get the motion it should like it should look like this and then put a repeater going into the repeater on the second block going into the middle um bedrock block basically so after you're gonna do that we're gonna need our blocks basically any blocks place it here and here so you should have a separation between all of these um uh, repeaters so just do it for all the sides so guys after after doing that go on any of the sides and place a block like this and then make it go around all of this um, basically um, circuit of redstone and then we're gonna basically be filling it up with a redstone as I just said right now so I'm just do it real quick and now we just fill up all of this um, square with redstone after that guys go on any side in the middle like this place two blocks place one lever and one redstone attached to the square of redstone guys after that looking at the lever go on the right block here uh, as I told you so it should look like this guys and then go four blocks down so one two three four like this i hope i'm clear and then leave one block and destroy this one leave another and destroy this one guys this is really important so you should pay attention so now place a redstone torch on the bottom one and guys here what you're gonna do place a redstone torch and break it immediately the fastest you can can and it's gonna basically make your farm work so let me just try it out like that this is the fastest and as you can see the farm started working, all these pistons start um, flicking off and on like this. And if you want to turn off the farm, just click here. So guys, now just have your du uh, the item that you want to duplicate and make sure it is a gravity block because these are the only blocks you can um, duplicate basically. So anvils, gravel, sand, red sand, you know, you got the idea. Um, so yeah, basically put them on top of the, the pistons and the good thing about this farm is that it gives you sand and sand is really um, annoying to get because you have to basically destroy desert and we don't want that. So after placing your blocks in the four pistons, you can just click this lever and this is uh, starting to work this And guys, it is really loud. So what I want you to do, just go to um, the options and just lower the sound. It is really loud guys, so yeah. 
So as you can see now, this sand just moves up and down, and this is actually teleporting into the next dimensions, basically. And when you see this um, beam, this purple beam, it means that it is working. So guys, now let's just get into it. Since I'm creative, I can just destroy these blocks and go in. But guys, uh, you have to make a way to basically get in. So you can just maybe remove this block and, you know, guys, uh, throw an ender pole there. You know, this is a hard thing to get. So guys, before you enter the dimension, make sure you turn uh, off the farm like this. And now let's go in and see how many we got. So let's make sure. So in, in my inventory, it is obviously um, empty like this. So let's go. And they're all going to be teleported at you like this. So, yeah, we got 38, guys. In a really short amount of time, we got 38 cent. So imagine if you AFK here for a really long um, period, you're going to get a lot of um, materials. Let me just go back really quick here. And you're going to get teleported back here, where you can obviously restart the farm and make it work again. So guys, this will give you a lot of uh, cool blocks like sand and anvils. Anvils uh, also work on this farm, which is great, because anvils are really expensive to make. So guys, uh, I think this was it for today. I hope you like you liked today's video. Um, guys, I'm sorry if this video isn't entertaining, but I'm pretty sure this will help a lot of people. Uh, so this is will basically prevent you from breaking deserts, which which is extremely painful. And this gives a, a good amount of uh, sand, basically. So guys, I hope you found it useful and. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's episode. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, um, be you. I have nothing to say, guys. So guys, thanks for watching. It was me, Mudstop. Bye.